Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. So today I wanted to answer two questions that I've been uh, getting asked a lot recently. So I thought I would film a video in case you had the same question as well. So the first question is, can you use personal wide inserts in a personal size planner? And the second question is, uh, what paper do I use when I print my uh, inserts? So if you would like to know the answers to both of those questions, I I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm very curious to see, um, you know, how personal wide inserts actually fit in my personal size planner, because to be honest with you guys, I've actually never tried that. So I think it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, if I recommend it and if it's something that uh, I would actually want to go with myself. <laughs> so let's start off with taking a look at the inserts. Now I have mentioned this before on my channel, when you are looking at trying new inserts uh, for your planner, what I suggest doing is printing off some freebies. I will link some shops that offer some freebies in the description box below for you guys. So this freebie over here is from a shop called Rosie Papa Tree. I also do have a discount code with them, which I'll link for you guys down below as well. So I have printed off the personal wide as well as the personal size just for comparison. So the paper that I use when printing inserts is this paper and i'm so sorry for the packaging you guys my daughter got a hold of this <laughs> but uh, the paper that i use when i print inserts is uh this paper over here from staples so i use the 98 bright 28 pound paper um, i was using 32 pound but i found it to be too heavy or too thick which bulks up my planner so 28 pounds i think is a pretty good um you know, weight. Now, if you are looking at reducing even more, you can get 24 pound paper, I believe. Um, now, 24 pound paper is a little bit on the thinner side. So I just, I find this is a good happy medium, but I will link the paper uh, down below for you guys, as well as the trimmer and the hole punch that I use. So the hole punch that I use is this Repesco hole punch that uh, I got from Amazon. So if you look over here on the back, it has the different planner sizes, okay? Uh, so that is that. Now I also have a video which I'll link down below for you guys where I show you how I print and trim my planner inserts. So I'm going to go ahead and trim and hole punch these uh, inserts and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. This is the personal wide and this is the personal. So of course, uh, you know, you can tell right away that there is a difference. Now the height... Uh, is the same, but you can see just how much of a difference there is, um, you know, on the right hand side over there. Okay, so I just realized that the paper that I was showing you earlier, as you can tell, it is very thin. This is actually just regular, um, I think it's 22 pound or something like that printer paper. This is not the paper I use. So I reprinted uh, the paper for you. You can tell this one is a little bit on the thicker side. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, try out the personal wide insert in the personal size planner. Okay, yeah, so you can see right away that that covers up all the dividers, so I'm not able to see any of the tabs. Now, I know that, uh, you know, there are some people that uh, have mentioned that they probably use top tab or bottom tab dividers if they're going to uh, use personal wide inserts in a personal size planner. So let's see how that looks like when you close up the planner. So yeah, I mean, you can see right away, it's starting to rub up against the pen and the pen loop. It's starting to, uh, you know, get bent. So that paper is not going to last very long. Um, so from my first impressions, I don't think I would recommend personal wide inserts in a personal size planner. I think if, you know, the personal size inserts are too narrow for you and you need some more writing space, this is definitely a good option. Uh, however, I would recommend purchasing a personal wide planner to accommodate for, uh, you know, the extra width in the insert. So um, that's that. Now also keep in mind because the insert is bigger, the planner is going to be bigger than a personal size. So if you need to carry your planner with you on the go, that is something to think about as well because it will be um, 
you know, heavier than a personal planner. So I hope that uh, was helpful. If you were, uh, you know, looking at switching to maybe personal wide inserts, I think for myself though, I do prefer the personal and I do prefer my planner to be more a little bit on the compact size. So that is that. Uh, thank you so much for those that asked that question. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. You guys, I really, appreciate it. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.